Ah, hi everybody, Bold and Curious here. We're gonna try this again on a 360 camera. So, you guys are welcome around to zoom around, whatever. I got two, I got a, I believe 10 inch and a 4 inch steel over there. And we're gonna kinda try, let the Glock redeem itself. Uh, I remount the, uh, re remounted the dot, uh, I remounted the dot. And uh, so what I want to do is first I'll take a few shots just to make sure it's still on. And it's not, so we're going to have to re-zero the dot. I'm way high, I need to come down. Ah, there's one back. Uh, still shooting my reloads. Still shooting a little longer reloads. But all these past the uh, case gauge. Uh, one funny thing though, the Magpul Mac, this ammo doesn't fit in. It's like just a hair small. So here's the second Mac. Uh, I don't know what that was. All right, maybe bad primer. All right, so I loaded the Federal uh, 115 into the short Mac. That's a factory ammo. I don't 15 grain. One hiccup. Let's uh let's try to load in a regular Glock Mac. I'll load the the factory ammo. And I, this this type of malfunction is, is is probably the worst because uh, regular stove pipe it's easy to clear with this you really got to drop the Mac. So all right, let's see. Regular Mac, one fifteen. Ah, right, no issues there. So it could have been a Glock uh, a Macpool magazine. Let me load one more of my reloads. As you can tell, it's a lot warmer today. It's about 35 degrees. I can get away with just a hoodie. Ah, let's see. All right, hundred percent with my reloads could be the Macpul Mac. I hope you guys also seen a difference between one fifteen and one forty seven. Really, these are almost one one fifty grain bullets. See how hard it seems with the one fifteen. How much more muzzle rise there is. So, so far so good. I got some splash bag on my on my optic, but uh, all right. So 50 rounds, the one little hiccup 
we're gonna consider the we're gonna consider the Glock redeemed and carry worthy. <laughs> As always, have fun, keep shooting.